These are the words of a prophet among us. These are not my words. I'm just the mouthpiece. And I will post a link to this blog. Jehovah's Witnesses, a question number two. Who do you worship, God or the organization? To whom do you look for salvation, the Lord Jesus or the organization? This is what the Bible says. Acts chapter 4 verse 12. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. Romans chapter 5 verse 1. Having been declared righteous then by faith, we have peace toward God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and 9. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. It is the gift of God. Do you believe this? For this is what the Bible teaches. Yet here is what the Watchtower organization teaches in direct conflict with God's word. The Watchtower, February 15, 1983, page 12. Similarly, Jehovah is using only one organization today to accomplish his will. To receive everlasting life in earthly paradise, we must identify that organization and serve God as part of it. The Watchtower, November 15, 1981, page 21. And while now the witness yet includes the invitation to come to Jehovah's organization for salvation, the time will no doubt come when the message takes on a harder tone, like a great war cry. The Kingdom Ministry, November of 1990, page 1. Bible students need to get acquainted with the organization of the one flock Jesus spoke about at John chapter 10 verse 16. They must appreciate that identifying themselves with Jehovah's organization is essential to their salvation. Now for those of you who object saying, but this is God's organization, ask yourselves, if this were truly God's organization, would it teach something contrary to God's word? God's word makes clear to us how we might attain salvation. But if you declare in your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans chapter 10 verse 9. Thus putting our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, that he died for us and sits at the right hand of his of Father, this is what grants us salvation. The Bible is very clear on this point, yet is this what the Watchtower teaches? In the book, What Does the Bible Really Teach? The Watchtower organization has laid our four necessary things for salvation. Yet, is that what the scriptures have said? Here are some Watchtower quotes to consider. The Watchtower, November 1st, 1990, page 26. We cannot take part in any modern day version of idolatry, be it worshipful gestures toward an image or symbol, or the imputing of salvation to a person or an organization. The Kingdom Ministry, November 1990, page 1. They must appreciate that identifying themselves with Jehovah's organization is essential to their salvation. Do you notice these two statements contradict one another? Did you notice that they both were published in November of 1990? Have you noticed that the Watchtower has contradicted itself? Doesn't this seem a little hypocritical? Also, the Watchtower, November 15, 1981, page 21. Come to Jehovah's organization for salvation. 
The Watchtower, January 15th, 1970, page 31. Where should your faith be placed? In a religious organization or in God? The Watchtower, March 1st, 1979, the cover. Put faith in a victorious organization. The Watchtower, July 15th, 2014. When exposed to unscriptural teachings, regardless of the source, we must decisively reject them. To continue to remain faithful to the organization, when scriptures have been shown that prove what it teaches is false, is to be a worshiper of the watchtower, not a worshiper of God. Which one are you?